So now we have a P channel enhancement mode MOSFET and an N channel enhancement mode MOSFET wired as push pull switches basically. So our uh, signal here is to the positive supply. We can go directly to the positive supply and uh, the output was low. So the N channel enhancement mode MOSFET was on. We'll look at that more detail uh, a little bit later. Now I go to the negative supply. We did have a stored charge so it already moved. Uh, but now the P channel enhancement mode MOSFET is on. The N channel enhancement mode MOSFET is off because you can see we got the negative supply there. So we know it's coming from up there where the uh, positive is. So for the P channel enhancement mode MOSFET, I have uh, their two gates are tied together and then uh, the signal goes to the two gates. The two drains are directly connected together. So we know that we have a gate there and a source that way. A, the drain, gate and source that way, BS250 and then the 2N7000 right there. So now we have the schematic for basically push-pull switch using uh, MOSFETs there. It's a NOT gate, um, basically. So we have P channel up there, BS250, N channel down there, uh, 2N7000. You can see their drains are directly together. Their gates are tied together. Drains are the output though. And then the source goes to the opposite supply voltage. There's the pin layout. Um, always consult the data sheet yourself though of uh, the components for all of their values. Now, when we give a five volt uh, signal right there, that's gonna go to both gates. And uh, so since we got more positive there, that'll make that more negative, make the end channel turn on. Blue LED will light up. It'll turn the P channel off. We move the switch down to the negative. I don't know why I wrote off there. Then the P channel enhancement mode MOSFET uh, channel will get negative. It will turn on and the end channel will turn off. It's uh, that simple. So up here we have a circuit where we got two transistors. Depending on the signal, high or low, the output will be high or low. So one thing we want to look at is the amount of current that's flowing. So it's going to be more when the red LED is lit up and uh, less when the blue LED is lit up. And it's uh, going back and forth pretty good. And there's a stray voltage uh, build up on here. Um, so it's going to naturally uh, be high, the output. Um, we're not going to worry about that too much. But yeah. Uh, we got the two transistors in series like that. That was the circuit that we got there. Moving uh, the signal and uh, switching the LEDs. So if they ever both turned on at the same time because we were like in a middle ground voltage or something, we would have seen a burst of uh, high current. It would have said CC on there because I limited the uh, maximum current there. And we never saw that and I don't see it if I like touch it, which I really know gives uh, stray signals. We actually get a halfway voltage.